My overall feelings for Annihilation are very similar to my feelings for Alex Garland's previous film, Ex Machina, in that they're both very good movies, but perhaps not quite as good as the movie's advocates make it out to be. The movie's high concept is certainly very interesting, and I don't think I've seen it done before, which is a rarity for science fiction today as I feel that the genre is still very much marred in tropes. All the acting is very good and largely understated, both Natalie Portman and Jennifer Jason Lee managed to convey their character's trauma and self-loathing without making it the front and center of their performance and the characters. The movie also has a somewhat tense and effective atmosphere throughout, which probably would have been more affecting if I was allowed to give them money and to go see it in the cinema. It also for the most part is very well shot. Once we step outside into the world, you're bombarded with all these luscious green forests that are really well designed. And again, this is something that makes me wish I could have seen this movie in the cinema. That being said, however, the CGI in this movie is generally speaking fairly poor. They try and hide it using low lighting, but even still, I did not believe that these creatures were actually interacting with the characters. It's a shame because the designs clearly have a lot of effort put into them, but for whatever reason, when they were actually animating them and putting them into the movie, it just didn't feel real. Which is odd because towards the end is an absolutely beautiful and rather abstract set piece that looks gorgeous and I wish the rest of the movie's effects could have been that good. Speaking of the movie's climax, the final 15 minutes are amazingly well realized and manage to show what's going on through the visuals alone. Which again is rather odd because the rest of the movie relies heavily on dialogue, some of which doesn't feel like one character talking to another but rather Alex Garland explaining things to the audience. Which is the exact same problem I had with Ex Machina. And I know he's capable of not doing that because the script for 28 Days Later, which he also wrote, expertly avoids anything like this. I also feel there were some missed opportunities in exploring ideas that they brought up multiple times in the movie and that they just decided to ignore. Without spoiling anything, there's a time jump in the movie that they draw massive attention to, but after that, nothing like it ever happens again, which is a shame because it would have been a good excuse to play around with the movie's timeline and take us further into the characters' heads while they're on this journey. That being said, I still recommend this movie. It's a very interesting and enjoyable science fiction film that, despite its flaws, manages to be a unique and engaging watch. Even though the movie is by no means perfect, I wish more big movies would take risks like this did, and overall I'm giving this a 7 out of 10.